Shalom Aleichem, Shachor Ram Shepherd here from King David's tomb, King David Kabbalah Dakom. And I want to share with you a wonderful Hidush from the Zohar on Parashat Vayetzi. We know that Yaakov Avinu had a dream, but it was not a regular dream. It was a dream of prophecy. So I want to explain what is the relationship, the connection between the dream and a prophecy. Okay? So we have the Zohar in Parashat Vayetzi that speaks about it, the difference between the dream and the prophecy. Zohar states that the dream, the vision of the dream, is a feminine aspect. And prophecy is coming from the masculine world. Okay? So far the Zohar. So my understanding is that the Zohar is hinting to us that there is a possibility of connection between the prophecy and the dream, which is obviously we know about it. That this is the pro the dreams of prophecy. See that even in other there is people that have dreams like that, that they see what's going to happen or they see a certain new understanding of the existent reality that they know. It can be different ways. The point of the matter is everybody knows that there is a connection between dreams of, and prophecy. And according to this Zohar, so we can understand what is that connection, like the connection of male and female. Needs better clarification. So, what is the dream, simply, is a vision, a sight, something you see. Okay? So, it can be, usually, by most of the people, what they see in their dreams is what they think about along the day. People that are watching movies, so probably they will have some continuation of the same movie in the dream, normally, or something else, whatever it is. <coughs> Someone that is working, is very busy in his profession, so it might be that his dreams will be around his profession, whatever it is. I, had, I have a student that is an electric electrician, he told me when he was learning electricity, he had dreams about electricity, how to solve all kinds of problems that he was dealing with in his learning, uh, within the within the world of, of electricity, fine. What we want to achieve is that our main business, our main thing that we are dealing with along our day, in our soul, in our heart, in our action, in our word, is Torah, the Holy Torah, the mitzvot, praying, doing chesed, and so on. And then, obviously, it affects the dreams, that the dreams are more holy. They are more holy, there's a better possibility that it will be something significant, which is the potential of the connection to the world of prophecy. And then, if that happens, the per person is getting to that point in his the spiritual growth, the potential is that the prophecy which is the masculine aspect, will bring over the abundance, which is the meaning of the dream, to the dream itself, which is the aspect of the feminine. Okay? And this is the real way of solving dreams. To solve the dream in a way of unity. Okay? What is unity? The connection of two things. Usually, something, one of them is masculine aspect, the second is the feminine aspect, also here. And then, like a wedding, there's a unity, that the two becomes to be one. <coughs> so, the way to solve dreams is to create unity. And whoever knows that concept of Yehudim, Yehud, unity, in the Kabbalah, that's a big portion of the Kabbalistic meditations is about Yehudim, unity. To take different aspects and to unify them. So, I hope and pray and give my blessing that all of us together, each one of us and all of us together, we will increase our connection to Hashem through the Torah, through our tefillah, through the mitzvot, and to experience the abundance that flows also in our awakening time, also in the sleeping time by the dreams, 
the flow of the spiritual abundance of the inspiration, divine inspiration, and to reach those levels of unity in every moment of our life, sleeping awake. Brachava Atlacha from King David's tomb. Shabbat Shalom Vorach.